Hey, what's happening, guys? It's your boy, Goldie. <laughs> Shout out to my dog, Grown Man Style. Say it again, Grown Man Style. Go check him out, run it all together. Grown Man Style, go check my dog out, man. He be in the rack stores, be putting it down too. You feel me? But chill, man, if you're new to my channel, it's all about fragrance and fashion and everything in between, you dig? Before we get started, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and share the Goldie, because sharing is caring, and subscriptions are free. They are free, guys, straight up. But I'm coming with a very special video today. This is a fragrance rotation video, okay? But first off, before we get started, let's get the business out the way. Outfit of the day. We have the church host frames, you dig? We have the signature Kango hat, you feel me? We have the blue blazer, navy blue blazer, guys. That's all you need. Guys, navy blue blazer. That's how you start. If you're gonna start wearing, uh, dressing like this, wearing sport coats and blazers, start with a navy blue, a navy blue blazer, guys. Navy blue blazer, white shirt. Navy blue blazer, light blue shirt. Navy blue blazer, pink shirt. Navy blue blazer, purple shirt. Navy blue blazer, black shirt it don't stop with that navy it's the most versatile jacket is what i started with and honestly it's all you need guys okay we have the navy blue blazer you feel me tailored of course guys get it tailored so it look good can't have this big baggy jacket on you feel me it's got the drape on you tight you feel me now we have the white and red pocket square we have the white and red lapel pin, you dig? We have the blue jeans that taper at the bottom, which makes it look good. And I'm about to show you guys, you feel me? Check out the Goldie, you feel me? Say, man. Say, man. You can do this, man. You can do this. With the textile shoes, man. I call these the textiles. Hold up, man. Peep the textiles, baby. The textile slippers. Guys, these are one of my most complimented shoes. They pull compliments left and right. But don't wear these if it's gonna rain because they're real live. I mean, you know what? I really like y'all. They're real live textile, guys. No trip. Real live, that's fabric. If that rain hit that, these jokers gone, man. I got a good shoe, man, but I really wouldn't want to test it like that. That rain water hit this, that inclement weather hit this hill, you ain't going to like it, man. But guys, these are one of my most uh, complimented shoes. And I got these uh, from Aldo, guys. And when I came back, they were gone because they had a red one I wanted. And it was gone when I when I came back, guys. So sometimes they don't be lying when they say, oh, you know, these are the last ones. Sometimes they don't be lying. Because when I came back to get them red ones, they were gone. So starting off Monday, guess what I hit them with? From the house, a la labo, the Noir 29. This is a sample guy. The essay, she looked out for me, which is really surprising, man. Them essays, they tight on them samples, man. And you guys know in the mall, they, they really tight, man. They really don't want to come off those samples. Essays, if you're watching, don't be so tight with them samples, man. You never know when you got a frag head in your face. We understand the fragrance is going to dry down. It's going to change. It's going to shift. She opened that drawer, man. She had about 300 samples in that mug, man. It was a gang of samples in there, you feel me? Go ahead and let them samples out. Plant that seed, it's a good chance they're gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it works. 
But anyway, this is the war, the Noir 29. It's the best one that I got my nose on another 13, Patchouli 24, Rose 31, Santa 33. And that one was better than all of them. I get it's a green, aromatic, modern day, masculine gentleman. That's what I get from that fragrance, okay? Green, modern day, masculine gentleman. And it was just bringing a smile to my face as it wafted up through the day, okay? That was Monday. Tuesday, I hit him with the Perry Ellis Portfolio Red, guys. One of my favorite cheapies, guys. You can get it for 20 bucks. You know I'm gonna put them in there. Yeah, y'all does my dance, man. Hey, look, guys, pear, clean, fresh pear with the lavender sandalwood, smooth pear. Guys, any season, any reason, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Believe that. Next. Wednesday, the new love of my life. <laughs> and I've expressed this love. I did a standalone video, standalone review. Shaman's plug, go check it out, man. Go rob the Goldie, man. Check your boy Goldie out, man. You feel me? From the house of Lomani, Victor I, in Tons, Paris. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Sweet, spicy, Invictacy, Beast Mode. I did five sprays. I'm on my five sprays. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Guys, beastly performance. Five sprays all day. Now right, we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. That's that wind up. Hey, sweet. Man. You step back, man. That's tough, man. That's tough. I love it. Some fragrances are just for you guys. That may be my new signature scent. As my other signature scents are actually discontinued. That may be the new one. I love it. Sweet, sexy, you feel me? All right. Next, Dolce Cabana, pour on. Guys, this will be great for a signature scent. Any season, any reason, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you feel me? And you know we're gonna put them in the air. <laughs> man, come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah? Listen, citrus. Aromatic, citrus, aromatic. And on the dry down, that tobacco and tonka just play, man. Guys, in my opinion, you need this in your fragrance wardrobe. This is an intelligent reach. This is a grab and go. This is gonna work. Chicks dig this one. I'm telling you, man. Guys, just get it, okay? Just get it. I found it at uh, Ross for 50 bucks, okay? This is a modern day gentleman as well, but he's not too stuffy. He's got some playfulness on that tobacco and tonka bean, 
You feel me? I'm telling you, man. Good performance. Check them out, okay? That's what I wore Thursday, all right? Friday, I went with the Fresh Soapy Clean King. Fresh Soapy Clean King. I love this juice. This could be another signature scent for me. As you see, the juice levels, the best way I can describe this is just a pretty boy fragrance, man. Yep. Fresh, clean, iron style. This is great for uh, office. Great for just, if you just want to be clean, a little luxurious, slightly powdery, inoffensive. I can't see anyone being offended by this, but it can happen. You know, I'm gonna tell you, it, it can happen. Some people, guys, they don't love it like us, believe that, man. <laughs> Some people have allergies, you know, it's a lot of things that can happen with a fragrance. I couldn't imagine someone being offended by that, but you just never know. No, no guarantees, but I highly doubt it, okay? It has good performance. It doesn't project really far. It sit close. I call it the hugger fragrance. <laughs> I had it on one day and, you know, gave a hug. An hour later, I looked down there. That mother was still down there. <laughs> Say, no, man, you know what I'm saying? But say, that's, that's that, it's, it's a hugger. Cause it's, it's, it's in close, kind of, you know, intimate a little bit. And it's powdery, clean. Guys, I'm telling you, chicks dig powdery, clean, okay? Next, they dig sweet. Okay, sweet, powdery clean. Sweet, fresh and clean. Seminars on, okay? Now you dating the frag here, she might like oud, but that's the only time you gonna pull oud off, you know what I'm saying? And she might not even wanna smell no oud, like, I don't wanna smell skanky, you know. All right, man, Saturday I ain't gonna count I smooth forgot what I wore. I didn't write it down. However, I'm going to do a first impressions. I wore this once already. And this is from the house. Let me make sure my nozzle turned right because I'm going to put them in there. From the house of Rasasi Darij. This fragrance is talked about a lot and at that $25 to $30 range. I had to grab it. But guys, to me, this is more fall and winter, dense, spicy fragrance. That's what I get. Nah, it's just one wearing. It's first impression. Okay, take that with a grain of salt. But we're gonna put him in there. He probably gonna cloud up this area because he's a beast. He's a beast. Get him again. There you go. This guy, he's about 35, 40. He's, you know, middle-aged guy. He still be clean. He can still pull. He still like the dress. He's not on an old man style. He's just, this is a middle-aged guy who likes spicy fragrances, man. That's what I get from this. Middle-aged gentlemen okay next sunday we're gonna wrap it up man there's a lot of fragrance in there guys this <laughs> good thing this is the last one i'm gonna need some coffee beans like trey sense man y'all go check out trey sense man he got them coffee beans refreshing that nose man you gotta refresh that nose man all right last one you probably saw a little sneak peek my mom tag him Okay, and this is a Blue de Chanel-ish. Blue de Chanel, I've said it before, they, they won't let you on the one, man. Just, just let it go. However, because the EDT, EDP, and Parfum are such great fragrances, in an attempt to clone those, clone houses actually make a good fragrance in and of itself. 
You feel me? And it is to me, okay? Yep, fresh, citrusy, blue, de Chanel ish type fragrance. You're gonna have to overspray it a little bit. The performance is not too hot. At 20 bucks, top it off at that three to four hour mark. But it is a great fragrance. I really enjoy it. Uh, another Blue de Chanel cologne I got my nose on paper is that Masoni Parfum. That's a great one. It starts off Blue de Chanel-ish. Again, like I said, they really won't let you touch it. But in the base, it's got a sweetness which set it apart. That was live to me. Just imagine a Blue de Chanel-ish drying down to a sweetness. That was live to me, okay? Now, what I did to stretch them out Sunday is I did a little Molecule 01. <laughs> I may not be the smell this, man, with all these fragrances in there. You really can't smell this stuff anyway, okay? It's everything and nothing at the same time. You feel me? But when I can smell it, it's just, I get, I know some say cedar, I get a slight sweeter, but I get a sweetness on mine. Not a gourmand sweetness, not a candy sweetness, but some type of, some type of sweetness. You know, that's the best way to describe it, okay? Chill, man. That's my fragrances of the week. Whatever, Sassy, Darij, you feel me? First impression, stone in there. Hope you guys liked it, man. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the goldie. Oh, more fragrances I got my nose on, guys. Tiziana Terenzi, Orion, has the most beautiful bergamot opening I ever smelled in my life. However, after 10 minutes, it's gone. But that opening is a blast. It's beautiful. That, that bergamot is a dream. And that Orion, okay? What else? Oh. How could I forget? Gentle, fluidity, silk. Moment of silence, man, for the gentle fluidity silk. Guys, I tell you something, man. You haven't lived your life until you get your nose on gentle fluidity silk. Guys, do me a favor. Get your nose on it, man. Beautiful juniper fragrance, guys. It's at the top of my list up there. We're slightly over Chanel Boy as far as my niche list, okay? It's an amazing fragrance. Of course, I don't own it, so I can't speak to performance and all that. But on paper, it smells absolutely amazing, okay? Gentle, fluidity, silk. Another beautiful fragrance, Atomic Rose by Anishio, okay? It's a beautiful, sweet rose. I do have Al Badi, you know, which is, it, I mean, every note is the same except Al Badi has oud in it. For some reason, they decided to put oud in it, so I wouldn't call it a clone, even though every note is exactly the same, except that oud. But in my opinion, it pales in comparison to that atomic rose. <laughs> Beautiful fragrance. Bond 9, Trebekah. Beautiful, sweet fragrance. Gourmandi, but doesn't go too gourmand. I actually like it. Bond number 9, Nomad. Started out fruity, and then it dried down to a fragrance that I don't no longer have that I used to have, which is New York Oud, which is a plum Oud fragrances, man. I had it on myself. The bad boy fell off and broke, man. I should have kept it because I probably could have did something with it, but I got rid of it. But Nomad starts off fruity, and then it dries down 
to Bond 9, New York. Ooh, it's a beautiful fragrance, guys. What else? I think that's it that I could think about right now, you know, but I, I, I wanted to bring that to you guys and, and let y'all know about that. You feel me? But that's it, man. I'm going to go and wrap it up. It's your boy, Goldie, a.k.a. the King of Spring, a.k.a. Goldie the Glow. Let them know, guys, all you got to do is look good, feel good, smell good, stay humble, stack your paper, man. Stack your chips, man. All right, guys. Peace.